Giannis was talking the other night about how you have a team of guys who they won't stop, you know, down 2-0, down 15, whatever it is. As a coach, do you know you have those kind of guys before you get in trouble or they prove, you know, it has to happen before you figure it out? Well, I mean, it, it's part of, you know, everybody talks about what the regular season is like and going through and um, training camp and all that. You, you just get a feel for your team. They've been through kind of everything. And um, we always talk about their resiliency, their character. Um, both teams, if you've made it to this point, um, you've got a ton of resiliency, a ton of character. And, um, you know, they've shown it really from day one. And um, we need a lot of it going forward. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Dwayne for next. Coach, usually the game slows down in the finals, but you guys are averaging like 17 points on the fast break at 21 in game six. Is that part of that just making a conscious effort of that or part of that just how you guys play? Uh, both. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's very much how we play. Um, it's an emphasis for us. Um, we feel like it's one of the, the times in the game when, when we're, you know, kind of, playing to our strengths and, um, you know, we want to do that, um, you know, including um, tomorrow night and uh, as much as we can, first quarter, fourth quarter, um, you know, so we, we talk about it, we emphasize it, we feel like it's playing to our strength and we got to continue to do that. You feel like that's how big of a key do you feel like that's been for you guys in this series? Um, yeah, no, I, I think, you know, any way you can find good looks and find good baskets, um, you know, that's what you need to be working to do. And as long as our guys are making good decisions, they're playing together, they're sharing it, um, trusting each other, um, you know, that's what we want to do and, and continue to, to try and play, uh, to, to play fast. Zora on this side. Hey, Coach, at this point, you all know the opportunity that, that's ahead, but the guys continue to say, like, job is not done and, and stay focused. In what ways has this group showed you just the ability to balance emotions this season? Um, and how impressive is it that you have a group that can handle multiple things at once, if you feel like they can? Yeah, no, I mean, it's just the, the maturity of the group, the intelligence of it. Um, and I think it comes through. They understand that uh, – you know, we have to keep our focus. Um, we have to be prepared. We have to do the things that are, you know, go into winning, the competitiveness, those moments, those opportunities to compete. Um, that's all that matters, whether you're down, you're up. Um, you just, you know, I think you go back to your competitive spirit. You draw on that. And uh, that's, that's how this team's built. Um, so they got to continue to do that. Mark on the right side. Hey Mike, uh, with, with Chris and Drew committed for Team USA, I was wondering, as they were deliberating on that decision, to what extent were you part of those conversations? And if you were, what, what was kind of your overall message to them? No, they, they both went rogue. They completely icied me out of the decision. <laughs> Probably smart on their part. Um, so, you know, I, I think any – and I'm unfortunately serious. Uh, but, uh, you know, anytime you have a chance to represent your country and – um, you know, do something um, unique and special and be a part of a team, be a part of uh, USA basketball. Um, you know, I think those guys could figure it out on their own and um, excited for them and their opportunity. Um, obviously, a little more interest that their focus is right here with us now, but uh, they're built, you know, to, 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 I think, handle all this. Eric, over here. Uh, the other day, Drew was talking about defense, and he's just like, I mean, it's pretty simple. You don't like to get scored on, period. Like, people don't like that. Uh, in the playoffs, you guys have used two strategies against Durant and here against Booker, where there is one guy that's doing a lot of the scoring, but you guys are trying to limit those other things. How do you get guys to buy into that? Like, how, how do you, th like, that's a tough idea to say, like, hey, we might be okay if this guy goes for 40 as long as we limit everybody else. I mean, when you have guys that are about winning and all they care about is winning, it's it's. I, I think you got to go to that place. You got to figure out, um, as a player, as a team, as coaches, you know what gives us our best chance to win. And uh, it's so true. Those guys hate, you know, hate to be scored on. They hate it when you know anybody scores, and that's that helps us. You know, I think hopefully make things difficult on Booker and Paul. Um, and and you know we just I, I think it just goes back to you know how can we win, and the guys just want to figure out a way to win and. Um, lots of times it's them participating in the conversation participating in, you know, what we think is best for us as a group. And, uh, and then the execution on, you know, Drew, Drew and PJ Tucker in particular, you know, but Chris, what those guys give us defensively, um, 
you know, is, is really, you know, it, it sets the table for everything else. Tim, up front. Mike, we've obviously talked a lot about your team's resiliency throughout these playoffs, but part of that's because you guys have been down a decent amount, especially early in the game. Um, it, do you have any, obviously, if you would have fixed it if you knew exactly what it was, but is there any trend line as to what you've kind of noticed as to what's led to some of these slow starts you've had? Um, you know, I, I think, you know, sometimes uh, the other night, you know, a couple of things stand out to me is, you know, we didn't take care of the ball. The turnovers hurt us in the first quarter. Um, you know, and I think I think that's maybe one of the biggest things. And, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, our offense, we got to execute a little bit better. Um, we got to scream better, cut harder, um, be prepared for whatever it is the defense is doing kind of mentally and, and literally. Um, but, you know, I if you look at the whole playoffs, I think we've done both. We've come out and crushed some first quarters and we've come out and been been in a big hole at the first quarters and um and and I the players I think did the same routine we did the same routine when we crushed it and when we were down and so we tend to stick to our routines trying to stick to our preparation and um understand you know um you know it, it's a it's a long game even even if you're up you got to understand that so we've seen a little bit of everything Lori Two-part question. What do you make of Giannis's vocal leadership, specifically vocal? I feel like ever since he got the contract, he's been more vocal. And I don't mean the philosophical stuff. I mean actual in-game stuff. Maybe it helps you that you don't have to do all the coaching. And then the second part of that is, has he picked up anything that's been really helpful in the finals, either pointed out something on defense or offense that made a difference in-game? Yeah, I mean, I think his the vocal leadership um, that you're seeing, that you're talking about, I think has been growing. You know, at least I can only speak for the last three years, but I, I think um, a him just understanding how powerful and how impactful he is. Um, you know, and sometimes it's 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 being um, vocal. It's it's maybe just you know helping teach or or learn or grow in a moment. Sometimes it might be getting on somebody, and all of those things are hard when. You know, it's your teammate. Um, people, it's it's not, uh, I think, the degree to which teammates want to do those things, um, you know, especially the hard ones if you're getting on somebody. Uh, but but I think, you know, his understanding of what we want to do has grown. So when you understand things better, then you can communicate better. Um, and so he's got a high level of understanding of what we want to do both defensively and offensively. And he's got great passion. He's got great commitment. He's got great relationships with the players. You know, we've talked about him growing and building relationships and sometimes he's just touching guys um it can that can be a form of communication so all that we see and feel and it's grown and it's it's you know i think with each step we've taken i think it's maybe even gotten better but there's other guys in the in the timeouts that are great too whether it's chris in his way pj tucker drew brooke pat all i i think they understand what we want to do and they just help each other um through those moments and a specific moment uh, I'm sure there are some, and I tend to just not share those, and I'm going to say I don't remember them. Vince in the back. Hey, bud. Um, there hasn't been a champion or rarely been a champion that doesn't go through some level of heartbreak, playoff heartbreak before they get there, and you guys have had your share over the past couple of years. Do you think that's been valuable for you as a learning experience? Have you seen examples of it developing toughness? How do you see that the last couple of years leading you to where you are now? Yeah, I mean, we've talked about it, you know, the, our journey, every, every team's journey is a little bit different. Um, every player's journey is a little bit different. And, um, you know, I think what we've been through the, the last few years and, and where we are today, it's, it's all part of it. It, it. it makes us, you know, makes, goes into making us who we are and I think hopefully better prepared, whether it's from a technical standpoint, from a mental standpoint, from a physical standpoint. Um, you know, your experiences, uh, they, they go into – to, you know, making you who you are. So um, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we got to go play a game six. We got to get ready to execute and play good basketball. But um, yeah, those things have, have uh, contributed to where we are today. Sam and Steve, last two in here. Bud, two different ones for you. Um, sound of the times with the other day, Thanasis not being available. Is there any update uh, in terms of the COVID protocol and Josh Oppenheimer had been reported in terms of just who's available. Has anything changed on that front? And then on a much lighter note, you've talked in the past about going for walks as a way to, to you know, kind of de-stress. And without getting too much into your business, are you listening to music? Are you calling family and friends? Just how are you handling that time? 
Uh, there's, there's no update on the health and safety protocols. Um, so that's the easy one, not, not the, the easy or the light one, but, uh, no, I'm absolutely not talking to anybody. I, I actually try and save my voice on my walks. I, I've actually been on a walk with my girlfriend so we can't talk. We put our headphones in, um, and I'm listening to music and just trying to, to, to literally not talk or say a word and just check out for a little bit. And, um, the walks in Milwaukee are amazing, Lake Michigan and just around there. It's, it's been good for me. So, um, I will get my walk in today and tomorrow for sure. Yeah, I knew that was coming. I actually play a few different things. So, and I don't know anything about music. So I'm the last person to ask. <laughs> Steve, last question here. I'm just wondering this time of year, guys off the bench, often their production might be inconsistent. Maybe they perform better at home than on the road. What is it about Pat's game? His numbers, his finals are even better than they've been in the regular season. He's performing home and away. What is it about him that's been able to step, allow him to step up his game this time of year? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's playing with a lot of confidence right now. I think his teammates have a ton of confidence in him. Uh, the way the ball is moving, the unselfishness with which really everybody's playing with, you know, I think that helps um, everybody play well, um, including – you know, Pat, and, and I, you know, I think the, the work and the preparation he's put in all throughout the year, even just watching him out there just a few minutes ago, there's, there's just a real, I think, uh, disciplined, focused um, preparation and commitment to his craft um, that's really been building over the last couple of years. Um, when you pair that with his athleticism and, and just his general kind of, you know, everything he brings to the game and, and then, uh, you know, a, a higher level of, of commitment to just, you know, his craft of shooting and the preparation. Um, I think that's all allowed him to, to be ready for this moment. Thank you, Coach. I right, thank you, guys.